still coding with random functions and chaos? It's time to build like a real developer. In the next few minutes, let's break down how object-oriented programming, or OOP, actually works using simple, real Java examples. At its core, OOP is about grouping two things together, data, like a car's color, model, or speed, and behavior, like driving, braking, or honking. Instead of having random code scattered everywhere, you wrap both inside a single object, one unit, one entity that knows how to act without you managing every detail manually. Imagine you're coding a car. In Java, you wouldn't just have random drive and brake functions floating around. You'd define a car class, public class car, string color, void drive, system.out, print LAN, driving. Simple, clean, organized. But real UP power comes from four major principles, the four superpowers that real developers master. Encapsulation. You hide the messy internal data inside the object. No random outsider can just change the engine while you're driving. Inheritance. You build new classes by extending old ones. You don't rewrite drive every time you invent a new car. You reuse it. Polymorphism. You write one common interface, but each object can behave differently. A vehicle might start, but a motorcycle and a spaceship will each start in their own way. Abstraction. You hide unnecessary details and only show the essential stuff. Users don't need to know how the engine actually works. They just need to press and start. Here's a quick real-world Java example. Class vehicle, void start. System.out.println, vehicle started. Class car extends vehicle, void start. System.out.println, car started. Both vehicle and car have a start method, but car overrides the original behavior. Same method call, different result depending on the object. That's the magic of polymorphism. Your code becomes flexible, extendable, scalable. You're not locked into messy if-else chains for every small change. You just extend or override cleanly. Why does all of this matter? Because real-world apps grow fast. Without OOP, your 500 lines of code become 5,000 spaghetti lines overnight. Debugging one bug breaks 10 more things. Scaling becomes impossible. OP teaches you to think in systems, not just scripts. You start designing code that's easy to maintain, easy to test, and easy to upgrade. It's the secret sauce behind every scalable startup, every high-traffic system, and every strong software team. Anyone can write a few working functions. Real developers architect powerful systems. OP isn't optional. It's the foundation you build everything on. From basic CRUD apps to billion-dollar cloud platforms. So master the craft, think like a builder. Code like an architect, and let AI be your sidekick and never your replacement.